Welcome back. In our last video we showed you how we fix the rub rails on the boat by fixing the water leaks and in this video we're going to do a bit of work on the trim lines and the trim rams. Basically you can see how br the braided line is worn and starting to fray away. So we basically decided to put a new set of braided lines on. Uh, Matthew purchased a new set on the internet and because of the condition of the oil, you can see the oil there, which has water ingress in the oil, we decided to replace the rams. Have a look at the difference between the new line and the old line here. The old line is not in a good shape and the new line is uh, very well it fits really well and it's made well and all the nuts were perfect and they fit quite well actually. So basically you can see on this side here I've already replaced one set, one side and they actually turned out quite well. They fit nicely and from there we went on to the second side and started to replace those. To replace them, you've got to take off the ram itself and you've got to work from underneath. You've got to unbolt a little plate. So basically that's what I'm about to do now is unbolt that and start replacing that side. So at this point I have undone the nuts, front and rear, and basically now I'm talking about a flare nut spanner. A flare nut spanner goes around 90% of the nut so it does not strip as you are tightening or loosening it. You can see a clear example there how it surrounds the, the nut. They are good for brake lines or uh, braided lines, that sort of thing, with small nuts. Uh, they are a bit clunky to use, but they are actually quite a good. They support the whole, the most of the nut. And you can see here I'm undoing the braided line from the power trim ram itself. Uh, when you are undoing these nuts, they can get a little bit tight. So. Sometimes it's good to use a bit of penetrant as well, WD-40 or RP-7, something like that. I'm using gloves here because of the braided lines are very sharp like needles as they're frayed away. So wearing a glove or gloves is just stopping my fingers getting penetrated by the very sharp braiding as I'm working close by. So a little bit of time lapse here just to speed up the process. So I've undone it from the back block underneath where all the power trim lines go to. It's like a T-piece. And make sure when you disconnect that you take a photo or a video so you know exactly where to put it back on. So here I've put the lines back on and I'm basically tightening the rams back in place. So I'm going to have to hold the nut on the other side as well because that whole pin will start spinning. So you can see the difference from the old one to the new one. And I just feel a lot safer going out in the bay knowing that I've replaced those items. This opened up a bit of a can of worms 
because um, what I'm holding in my hand there is what I'm holding in my hands is the lines that go to the power trim pump they will be replaced at another stage when we replace the power trim pump as well because we believe that's getting on the way out as well now at this point we've decided to order the new rams and put them in place as soon as possible so we've used the boat the way it is for a few weeks until the new rams came In our last video, we replaced these braided lines because they weren't in too good a shape. Now, what we've decided is to replace the rams as well. Basically, I'm getting water in our reservoir up inside the boat. So, we believe it's this ram here that's leaking. So, we've decided to replace them both. So, here we go. We're going to start this process. We're going to take them off again and put the new ones on. Alright, so these rams arrived. And let's just put one out of the box. And have a look at it. So there's our rubber bushes. They're all there. Now, that's it there. Pack it. All right, so you can see that's brand new, and we'll start with the installation of that. So that's by two, we've got two of those. Also, one of the important parts is the, you know, I'll just get this paperwork out, the continuity circuit kit. So when you're replacing these rams, you should replace all the little stainless braided lines, okay? Um, that's how, that helps to stop the corrosion as well. And the kit comes with all the proper screws and, and washers and wires and all that sort of thing. Alright, let's get stuck into it. Alright, so today, today I've got my son helping me and Quinn. And Quinn the dog. She'll be running around like crazy. Um, so first things first, we'll undo the nut there, then we'll undo the bolts, and then we'll undo the other line at the rear as well. that it puked out of that one so easily and it's not coming out of this one makes me think that they're working at different pressures because one's seized. This one is having trouble coming out. Yeah. Alright cool, that's undone, that's undone.
satisfaction. You gotta do it for the comedy. When's the so, comedy? so you reckon we need to persuade it to you, Matthew? Yeah, to it's come on. Hot water. Alright, so I'm taking off the zinc. The anodes, I'm saving those because they're still in good condition. They were only put in six months ago. Hopefully I can get them undone. Big question. Putting the pig on lipstick, mate. So, that is ink anode on the on that dress. No, that's shiny. It's like putting lipstick on a pig, you reckon? No, it's like putting a pig on lipstick. A pig on lipstick. But then again, this is effectively lipstick for the rest of this. Right. So is, is it going to go faster, you reckon? The trim. I reckon it's going to work better. Yeah. I reckon. I think. I don't think the lights will dim anymore. Like the electrics will work so hard. Should I get you to flush the fluid out? What, like cycle the pump? Yeah. Because that's dirty oil. That's got water in it. <laughs> can, but it's going to come out of every... It's going to come out of four hoses. No, because two will be suction. Why don't we just try it? All right. The absolute worst case, Dad, you just go in there with this. You just go in there with the syringe to the reservoir, 
siphon it all out and replace it that way. Yeah, but it's still in the hoses. Yeah. Yeah, try it. Ready? Go, go. Other way. Oh no, that was good. Ready? Yep. Matt, yeah. can you get the continuity kit? Yep. Yeah. Passed to me again. Is one end small? Yeah, one end would be that goes onto the motor somewhere on the back of the leg that is just a screw. So, like, like be a big end and a, and a smaller end. Now, where's the what screws? Because it looks like there's a little range of fasteners here that are fresh. What's the little screw that was used to attach it? There you go, trim. Bravo drives. We're doing this one. Goes to the really existing screws and ground wires. Attach using existing screws or matching screws from kit. Okay, so which screw is it? Four. 
of that screw. Yeah. One. One? Yeah, there's one of that screw. Hang on. To that I'll do a final tightening later. And I'll leave that like that in there. You want to slide it up and put this pushing in from the back side? Yep. Two of those. That thin washer has to go between here and here. This way. Yeah. So that's one. I wonder if the um the zinc zinc's will I'll try and make it a little bit easier. And and do the bolts here. Daniel still in there?
One of the things I'm not going to do is not get rid of these ramps. Because I think these could be rebuilt. Probably could Maybe be. A couple yeah, of years just, just put the bungs, the, the blanks back in it. Yeah. These blanks that came with the new ones. And just put them in the garage. What if, what if it just completely changes it and we can actually make it to the beach now? Somehow down there. What we need to do is we re-fiberglass, we reset the motor mounts an in, in inch or two higher, we recut all the holes in the transom for the, for the drive, we lift the whole thing up. This is the one that doesn't want to play ball. Doesn't move. Yeah. This is the one that's a bit difficult. Give it a give it a smack all of the hammer. Does it does it? It moves, but difficult. Does no, it move? I don't think it should be that difficult. I feel like it's moving. So they give you these pieces here to replace that, see that? You take off that, and that plate and that nut they give you. What, for the continuity? Yeah. I don't know why, but... It's there. Is that right or is it bent wrong? I think these rings are slightly different. Yeah, they're a superseded part number. They're slightly different in the holding location right there. If you look at that between there and there, mm. there's like four mil. Look at this one. But nothing. It's like two mil. That's why these are a little bit tight. Yeah. Is it tight once you do up the the but line? It, it slots in. Have you got that other continuity cable? Yep. Did you use the fresh bolt on that side? Yep. Do you need another one? If you've got it. I've got, I mean, I've got the one from the other side. If you need, if you need it. Continuity cables, they're reconnected as well. So I've just got one more hose to connect, and then we can put some oil in the pump, prime the pump. Um, also, we've drained the reservoir, and this is the crud that's come out of it. So that was due to be done, and you know, looking at that oil there and how disgusting it is, I've got a funny feeling the pump's next. Here you go. Firm. Okay, so Matthew's tightening that other cable. I reckon that's pretty good. Yep. Alright, so that's done.
so for today we're going to put some oil in it now and we'll see what it does Look how nice it is. Yeah. Beautiful. It's quite off as well. There's some water camels. Water camels. Water camels. The thing is, camels implies that they can. They don't need to drink very often, right? Yeah. These but things, they hold these a lot things, of water. These things just like have to drink petrol. 15 minutes. Yeah, they need to be refilled every 15 minutes. 